the mystery integral. Uh, today we have this problem, uh, integral from 0 to 1, log of x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. For this integral, uh, we first try to observe that we have x squared plus 1 in the denominator, uh, which kind of makes sense in the way uh, that derivative of tan inverse x is also 1, uh, 1 by 1 plus x squared. So we would want to let uh, x equals to a tan y, yeah, or y equals to tan inverse x, such so that our dy equals to 1 by 1 plus x squared times dx. So this will simplify a bit. Uh, after that, we have our integral from 0 to pi by 4. Uh, ln of uh, this will be 1 plus uh, 10y in dy. Now, uh, here is the most uh, mysterious part uh, that I took a long to discover. Uh, for this integral, what we can uh, do is just use the king's rule. If we use king's rule, uh, this person uh, will just uh, reiterate itself. Yeah, uh, let us first uh, assign this as i, and now let us use king's rule. 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus 10 of 0 plus pi by 4 minus y. So that's pi by 4 minus y dy. Okay. After that, this is integral from 0 to pi by 4. So this will be ln of 1 plus 10 a minus 10 b by 1 plus 10 a 10 b just use the formula of 10 and now mm, and now this will be int i equals integral from 0 to pi by 4 and this will be ln of 1 plus 10 y plus 1 minus 10 y that's just 2 uh, by 1 plus 10 y Okay, so now I guess you have already seen uh, like what it is leading to. Now this will be i cos integral from 0 to pi by 4 ln of 2 dy minus integral from 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus 10 y dy. Yeah. Now this integral from 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus 10 by dy is just i itself. Yeah. Uh, without using such like techniques as such, uh, we will not uh, get a simple definite integral in terms of uh, elementary functions. So this was necessary for this problem. The different integral would uh, come in terms of di logarithmic function, so there's not an elementary function. So this was necessary for this problem. Now this is ln two uh, times x from zero to pi by four. So now this will be two uh, i equals to, and uh, that would be ln two times pi by four. Now we bring 2 to the other side, we get i equals to ln 2 times pi by 8. So that is our answer. Uh, this integral is equals to ln 2 times pi by 8. Okay, so in this way we solve this problem. We basically uh, first use u substitution and then uh, we use the king's rule. And we need to, we had to notice that uh, we again uh, get a reiteration of i, and then that's how we solve this problem. Thanks for watching.